Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. So today we're doing something a little bit different, a little bit special. Uh, we're learning how to braid a, an, I, an iPhone charging cable with paracord. So of course this is not exclusive to an iPhone cable. Uh, you can do this to any charging cable for that matter or any wire for that matter. And uh, I think it's pretty nice, you know, adds a degree of personality to it unless you personalize your stuff. Um, I think it does add a bit of durability to your cord because it does keep your cord a lot more stiffer So it'll prevent your cord from bending too much and breaking that connection So it could potentially help your cables last a bit longer. We all know how these um charging cables tend to get thrown around So, um, yeah a little bit time a little bit of time involved in this tutorial because it does take a while to braid all of this But I think it's worth it and it's pretty cool so that being said, uh, remember you can find all the paracord and good stuff I use in this video in the affiliate links down below. And also if you really want to, you can check me out on Patreon to support me there. And also guys, don't forget to turn on the bell icon to get notified of when I upload videos. Alright guys, that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to start off for braiding this uh, cable, we've got our cable and our four strands of paracord. You can use four different colors, you can use it all the same, it's up to you. So we're going to take a rubber band and we're going to wrap the rubber band around everything. This is just for the first step to anchor our, uh, our cords onto the cable. So there we go. So I've got my four strands there and you want the, the iPhone cable to sit in between kind of with the four strands all around it. So just kind of play with it and get the four strands sort of wrapped around in that fashion. Okay. So here's what we'll do first. We're going to tie a square knot. So on one side, you're going to bend one strand over like that. Then you're going to take the other one and bring it over like so. And take the green. Bend that over, like so. And then the last one, the last one, make sure the green goes over, the neon green goes over the green and under the gray. So that is the setup you want. Okay. So let's shift this down a little bit. Now don't worry if we're not all the way at the top of the cable, we can fix that later. So now we're gonna tie the, uh, I believe this is the four strand foot rope knot. So we're gonna do that. Take um, this yellow one, bring it past the green and up through the middle like so. And then rotating to this side Take the gray, go past the yellow, and bring it up through the middle. Like so. Then take the neon green, bring it past the gray, go up through the middle. Like so. And then last one. Take this green, bring it, bring it past the neon yellow, go up and in between through the middle. So if that was confusing at all, I know my cords are a bit of a mess right now, but I will link my dedicated tutorial for that knot and you'll be able to get a better idea how to tie the knot. Okay, so there we go. Just cinch this knot up. Start tying this up. Since it's not uh, nice and tight and get all the slack out. Okay, so I got that first four strand knot cinched up pretty well. It's not gonna be super tight. Next, you're going to tie another square knot right below this four strand knot. It's gonna be a little hard because the, the strands are really um, long. But just do what you can. So turn it this way and then tie in another square knot. The first knot we tied around this part here.
Okay, so I've got those two square knots tied, and now we're going to start braiding. So I'm going to start with the uh, neon green. I'm going to bring this. I've got my cords set up like this, two on each side. I'm going to bring the neon green behind and in between the yellow and the gray. Let's bring that over and then wrap it around the front, like so. I'm going to bring it back to the other side. Okay, that's the first step. Next, we're going to work with the gray strand. Kind of do something similar. Bring it to this side. Bring it in between the neon green and the dark green. And then wrap it back over to the other side. Okay. And pull it tight. Next, we're going to do the dark green. So bring it behind in between the gray and the yellow, bring it back to that side. Okay, so see I got a bit of slack there, you want to tighten that up. I can fix that a bit later though. And then now finally, uh, yellow strand, bring it from the right to the left, in between the two green, and back to that side. And that is essentially the round braid. So watch out for stuff like that happening. This particular paracord I'm using is a little stiff, so it's a little bit hard to work with. But I'm sure yours will be easier if you use softer cords. Okay, so that was one kind of set of braiding, and you're just going to repeat that. So always uh, look for the cord on the top, bring it behind in between the two cords on the other side. and then bring it to the other side. And there you go. So again, see the cord on the very most top, bring it around in between these two cords and bring it to the other side. And again, repeat, cord on top, in between these two cords and wrap it around in front again. And then the last one, the yellow on top, in between the two green, wrap around the other side. And that's it. That's how we are going to braid the entire length of our uh, charging cable. So just do that all the way down until you get to the other side. Okay, so I've braided down the entire length of my cord. Now, um, <laughs> ignore these joins here. I screwed up and I gave my didn't give myself enough cord, so I had to graft on some extra cord. I wouldn't do that unless, you know, this is a real emergency, but I'm not going to redo the whole thing. So I just added on some extra cord. But the measurements at the beginning of the video will be the proper ones. So now uh, we're almost at the end here, as you can see, and we're just going to finish it off uh, the way we started it. So we're going to tie a square knot, same knot again, and this one goes over here. See, so I finish it off with a square knot like we did in the beginning. And then now we're going to tie one more uh, square knot, but this is going to be the knot that turns into the um, the two strand, the four strand foot rope knot. Okay, so I got that last four strand knot tied. Now all we have to do is snip off all the excess on both ends. Be very, very careful when you're um, clipping off the excess paracord here because it is very close to the plug. So uh, just be careful when you're snipping and melting not to burn your electronics, of course, or your cable. Okay, and there we have it, guys. We are finished. Everything is done up and the braid is done nice and tight. You can always push up on the, uh, the braid to make it even tighter or a bit more condensed, but I think this one worked out fine. And it got all that excess paracord snipped off. And this cable is ready to go. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, remember, if you really like my videos, like what I do, feel free to support me on Patreon and check me out there. If not, just keep enjoying the videos. All right, I will see you on the next video.
Bye.